Hey guys, so over the holidays, like a month ago, I decided to buy the cheapest projector I could find. I got this thing for like 90 bucks, it was a lightning deal, and it's 1080p, has HDMI input, and then it connects to your PC, so that means probably VGA. I doubt it'd be have a digital video input, like a DVI. The box is pretty plain Jane, you know, nothing too special about it. Here is what the projector actually looks like. You have your typical controls, uh, you have your focus, depending on what distance you are from the wall. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, the lens prote protector. It's got ventilation, a little speaker, your tripod mount, uh, your security screw. So if you wanted to put like a, a string from here to the tripod or whatever, so if it does happen to fall, and that is safe. And then the power input. And on the other side, you have your headphones, your audio visual, your SD card, the HDMI, the USB, which is too close, we'll get that in a second, and then your PC VGA input. This is what the projector comes with. You got your remote, you got some cleaning stuff, some instructions on cleaning. It comes with an HDMI cable, comes with your audio visual RCA cable, the old school stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna be plugging in my Amazon Fire Stick. So I've plugged in an external power supply to the Amazon Fire Stick, and I'll get to the reason for that in a second. Plug this in, there we go. You'll notice that the USB is way too close. So it does come with a USB cable, which is right behind me, and then we have a power brick as well. So the power brick plus the USB cable cannot plug into there. So I just have a 15 foot USB cable for the setup. Now I'm gonna power this on and we'll get to where I wanted to mount it and why I can't mount it. Now before I demonstrate the projector, um, well, let's get it booting up. We'll take off the, the lens cover and then we'll turn it on. The reason why I wanted one of these things is because I originally got this to hold my cell phone as I'm watching a movie at night or watching some YouTube, do, watching a DIY video, and then I go to sleep. So I thought, hey, projector to go on the ceiling because if you mount your projector, sorry, you mount your TV, on the ceiling, it could could fall and crash into you. So this projector is really cool. You can see there to the bottom left, you can pair it up with your TV, I mean with your cell phone, then you have your audiovisual inputs. So if you wanted to uh, plug in an old entertainment unit, as in like an old console system perhaps, uh, maybe a VCR, and then you have your HDMI, which is what we're gonna be using. And then you have uh, the devices itself has a, its own Wi-Fi connection. So you can have outside sources and then the standard VGA input. We're going to be using the HDMI. It projects at 1080p, as you can see in the bottom there. It's on the HDMI to 60 hertz, which is your, like your standard television. And uh, it has all sorts of, this is using the fire sticks. Now we're talking about the fire stick. Has all, the Fire Stick has all sorts of inputs that you can add. Now, this, is, this isn't really about the Fire Stick. We are connecting to the Netflix. This is just the video input of being uh, Treadstone. We're not, well, this is not a review on Treadstone or the Fire Stick itself, even though I am talking about it a little bit. Um, I do apologize for the shakiness of the projector and also the shakiness of my cell phone mount. Um, so, the picture is really good, except on the sides of it, you can see, probably not in this light, I just, if I adjust this just a little bit. Okay, then really show it. You can see on the left and right of the uh, projector, that light is coming through. Yeah, it does show up on the, on the cell phone. That was my, one of my biggest complaints about this thing. Now the speaker is very tinny. You'd kind of expect that. Having it is awesome. I would never try to watch a movie with uh, a projector because it does sound tinny. Um, but you just, you plug in your surround sound or put some headphones on and uh, you'd be right as rain at that point. Now you can plug this, uh, set up this projector directly with a tripod. You can also set it up with uh, a ceiling mount and uh, you can have it on an angle and you can adjust then for uh, what angle you have it on. It has all the adjustments that you would find with a standard projector. Um, the 
downside of it is where the USB is placed. And, uh, but that can easily be rectified with uh, an HDMI extender cable or uh, you can get, uh, what I did was I just plugged in a, uh, an external uh, USB device with uh, a 15, like a, a power brick with a 15 foot uh, USB cable. Solve my problem. However, the problem I can't solve is what you've been hearing all along is the sound of the projector staying cool. I figured these days there would be cooler running projectors, but I guess because it's so dang on cheap, you really can't expect too much for it. Now, that being the case, that's the only downside I could find with this projector. It's 1080p, it's got good uh, contrast. That's always a, a point of contention with a projector. Um, and beyond that, it's actually really good. Am I gonna keep it? No. I don't really have a place for it, and anywhere I could find somewhere for it to work, it, I really can't justify having it. But I do think it, this thing is awesome regardless. I gave it a good review, four stars out of five for the Amazon, and I'm very happy with it, but I can't justify keeping it. That being said, I'm gonna show you what my idea originally was for this projector. The projector itself, was originally thought by my by myself was be to be mounted here and you can mount them on an angle there is adjustments for that for the uh, for the lens and it would project onto the ceiling and I thought that'd be awesome the idea came from this little doohickey holder and then it would project on the ceiling as you saw it'd be awesome and it'd be a lot easier than mounting a TV up there ideally mounting a projector on the ceiling, sorry, on the wall to the ceiling, that's what I would like it to look like. That's a TV. Mounting a TV is more likely to look like this because you still have to do all the hard wiring and infrastructure on the back. It is going to take Netflix and chill to a whole new level mounting your TV on the ceiling. However, if you mount your TV on the ceiling, you're going to have to make yourself good with the Lord and Savior because holy is that dangerous. So the idea of mounting this Jinhu I guess that's how you say it, Jinho? I'm gonna say Jinho. Projector, to somewhere in the room so it could project onto the ceiling, was great initially. This is an awesome projector. Has all sorts of features and frills and everything more than I even need. For 90 bucks, it's definitely a steal. I think it retails for 150. I'll probably post a thing after this video showing where I got it from. Um, this is gonna go back. If you guys are looking for a projector and you have the space for it, like a home theater room, you can set up the projector to be outside the home theater room, which a lot of people do, so that the sound from the projector doesn't interfere with your setup. Now, where I wanted to mount the projector, it would have interfered with my setup. I'd be hearing the fans going all the time, and that's kind of annoying. Um, am I going to mount the TV to the ceiling? No. I do have another idea for that, and after the picture of this, where I bought it, on Amazon, and I'll include the link in the below, I have another idea of hiding a monitor behind a photo. And when you pull the photo back, there'll be um, some brackets that'll come out and lock into place. And then the screen itself might be on a 45 degree angle. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll figure that out later. Um, but it'll be able to hide the TV behind the photo. And then when I want the TV, I just pull it out. It drops down a little bit and then you can watch it. It doesn't have to be a giant TV, somewhere around 36 inches maybe. We'll see what we go with. Um, and you can find a monitor really cheap these days. I might even use, just to test the theory out, an old monitor of mine or an old screen of mine just lying around. Maybe even steal a computer monitor from somewhere just to check it out. That's an idea for the future. That was the idea for this to make that happen, but it, it doesn't seem feasible where I need to mount it and then the sound it creates. It is a great projector. I do recommend it. They've come down in, in price so much. Um, and I can't really see a use of this anywhere in my house. So this again is gonna go back, but it, it is awesome. That's why I rated it four stars out of five on the Amazon review. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll include the rest of the uh, the, the two image, images that I was uh, talking about after this. Thank you, peace. The key features of this projector are 4200 lumens, not much, but it's decent. The 2,000 to 1 contrast ratio, again, that's kind of high, but for projector, it's, again, decent. Supports a minimum of 32-inch screen resolution. Not sure why you want to be that small on a projector, but hey. Up to 176 inches screen resolution, which is awesome. 
uh, the lamp usually lasts, well, it says it lasts around 55,000 hours for the lifetime of it. And all in all, I'd say that it is pretty daggone good for projector. Now, what you see here is what I want to create for myself. A photo mount that on the back of it will be the television or LED screen. So thanks for watching and hopefully I can figure out the uh, screen mount for the next one.